but I'll just do some introductions to those of you who are here. Um, it's really great to see people uh, coming in from uh, all over the world. I just saw someone saying hi from France. Hey to, to you saying hi from France. Um, but yeah, so I'm Stella. I'm here from the Palestine Solidarity Campaign, uh, which is the UK-based biggest organisation supporting Palestine from the UK. Um, we uh, have been organising since the 1980s and we uh, are around to show our broad support for Palestine and the people resisting on the ground there. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got over 8,000 individual members um, and affiliations uh, at a national level from lots of trade unions plus the Trade Union Council here in the UK. Uh, and we've also got links with lots of student groups, um, including a network of Palestine societies uh, on UK campuses. Um, we've got lots of ongoing campaigns, including work uh, opposing the UK government's incoming anti-BDS laws, uh, organising divestment campaigns such as on local government pension schemes, um, and campaigning against army, armies and companies who supply uh, uh, goods, military equipment to Israel. Um, so yeah, today, welcome everyone. Um, I'm joined by Sami, uh, who is the co-founder of Youth of Samud um, and the Palestinian Land Defender. Uh, it's really great to have you here today. I'll let you introduce yourself if you want to say anything, and then I've got a couple of questions for you and we can get going. Oh, your sound is a little bit, um, we could hear you a second ago, but you might be. Yeah, sorry, I was muted. Uh, thank you, Stella. Uh, yani, hi to everyone, and thank you for uh, hosting us in this uh, webinar and this live Instagram. Uh, I'm uh, very happy to talk today about Masaf Riyatta. Again, my name is Sami. I'm uh, from the village called Datwani in Masaf Riyatta. I am local organizer and uh, co-founder of a small youth local group. It's called uh, Youth of uh, Sumud. Yeah, thank you. It's great to have you here. Um, and yeah, thanks again so much for joining us. Um, yeah, so to start off with, um, just for giving people a bit of information, what is it that's been happening in Masafayata this week? Yeah, uh, to Masaf Riyatta, especially uh, after the decision that was issued uh, by the Israeli Supreme Court in the 4th of May, uh, a situation has uh, changed uh, like 100% in Masaf Riyatta. Uh, situation is just getting every day worse and worse. Uh, again, 100% completely now Masaf Riyatta is passing through very hard uh, time. Uh, we are talking about the uh, daily, daily harassment by the Israeli military and by the Israeli army against our people in the area. Uh, like, especially just like if you want to mention, like just from yesterday about the, the, the harassment to the people, to the shepherds and uh, by, the, by the Israeli army and others also as well, but followed by the settlers harassment. You know, at least two shepherds yesterday were harassed and chased from their land while they were grazing. Two cars were as well confiscated. Uh, like completely, uh, Israel is what is trying to do now. It's completely to make the situation of the land here and the place of Masaf Riyatta as a, a, a military area, military training area to control all the life. Uh, with all, uh, يعني, we are talking about a lot of confiscations of cars right now that's happening in, uh, in Masaf Riyatta. I am one of the people, even my car was confiscated because as well I was targeted personally because of the activism I am doing as well other people are doing with me. Uh, like this is something became very uh, scary for us, for the movement. We are talking about the checkpoint. Uh, the, like now they are trying to isolate the villages in Masaf Riyatta. We have the flying checkpoints spreaded in, the, in, uh, in between the villages. We have the military uh, jeeps that all the time running after the cars, detaining people. I was, as well, I was detained and one of the people have also has been detained from, from this uh, daily practices of the Israeli army. We are talking about the life 
shooting in between the villages and which reached the Palestinian houses, which is also very terrifying and dangerous, which is bringing our people to the circle of like really a, يعني, the threat of death at any moment because of like this uh, way of the army, the, you, you know, dealing with the people living here without any care because and without any, you know, taking care any responsibility. This is how Israel used to deal with Palestinians for decades, for decades that they always don't care. And uh, this is completely what is, I mean, with the sense of the word that is very dangerous per period and moment now we are going through, which is uh, really uh, and should move everyone in the world and the international community to move to toward Masaf Riyatta and to, to save Masaf Riyatta and the people of Masaf Riyatta. And as well, like I'm talking about, like I didn't mention about the demolishing of the of homes, like we have two big operations of demolishing has been carried out by the Israeli military just in, in, in the eight villages, which are facing the threat of displacement and the forcible transfer. We are talking about uh, helicopters as well, uh, trainings in, inside and between the villages. Uh, we are talking about people of Masaf Riyatta, simple people who are like the normal lifestyle based on grazing sheep and plowing the land. And you know, يعني, this, uh, you know, uh, what is, what, يعني, style way of life is, is getting destroyed step by step. The tanks are destroying the fields. The helicopters are not able to make the sheep to, to graze. And this is all, all of these steps, يعني, all of these steps of uh, like daily crimes and daily harassment, it is also part of the eviction crime. Israel made the decision and this is all, it's like kind of a steps, uh, step by step, following in order to create the environment of forcible transfer before doing it actually with, you know, uh, forcing and taking people by force out of, uh, out of Masaf Riyatta. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's really important to link up those. So it's, it's all part of this system, as you say, um, of displacement of the people of Masaf Riyatta. Um, so can you give us a little bit of background about Israel's ethnic cleansing um, there? And so, for instance, how long has it been going on? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Masaf Riyatta being targeted with the firing zone area is not uh, something recent. It started in the 80s when Israel has declared uh, about 30,000 dunum in Masaf Riyatta. Uh, a firing zone area to train the uh, Israeli military. And since then, you know, all this process of ethnic cleansing and displacement here policy started since the 80s, moving until to the 99, when Israel the first time committed a war crime in Masaf Riyatta, which evicted 12 villages in Masaf Riyatta, if, you know, a big crime of forcible transfer when they uh, transferred our people inside the military trucks and throw them uh, from out from their from this area and throw them uh, near the city of uh, Yatta. Since then, you know, the issue started to increase more and more. But by the beginning of 2000, Palestinian Masaf Yatta managed to get a temporary decision by the Israeli military court, uh, by the Israeli High Justice Court, which is called that it's completely not related to justice. Uh, in that period, you know, there was this temporary decision which allowed our people to go back. And then since 2000 until 2022, all uh, this like time of legal battle that uh, as well, again, uh, the decision was the same to evict our people from Musaf Yatta, but this time for eight villages. Yani, uh, we have, uh, like why our people in Musaf Yatta went to the, uh, to the Israeli courts, for example, because there was no other option for our people to go or to use. And we as well, we believe that in this, in this racist Israeli law against Palestinians, there is no justice. But that's, as I said before, it's the only option that it has and hoping that there will be something that's going to change, to, to change toward us. But as we can see until this moment, they are insisting to commit this war crime in Masaf Riyatta. And that is what, you know, we are all rejecting and what, what we ask now all the world to stand by Masaf Riyatta and by the people of Masaf Riyatta. Absolutely. And that leads us really nicely onto kind of the crucial question tonight, really, which is how can people in the UK stand in solidarity with you and the people of Masaf Riyatta? Definitely, يعني, uh, we appreciate all the efforts of everyone who was standing يعني, all with, with Masaf Riyatta, with the people of Masaf Riyatta since all this time that we are going through and especially when the case showed up again after the decision. 
uh, we appreciate all the efforts has been done, but we are asking everyone to continue to support Masafar Yatta through many and several ways. We have been all, as well launching a lot of online campaigns where everyone can be part of it and share and to continue to follow our uh, uh, always like the, 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 the updates, daily updates from Masafriyat about the situation to share. We want that to, to raise awareness as a priority. This is what we care for, that everyone should know about this, this war crime and to really to show the real face of Israel and not always to keep Israel this, this you know, this beautiful face that this crime must be shown and everyone should know about it. And that needs the help of everyone, the UK people, the US, the French people to be all the time tuned and sharing about this. You can sh share inside, uh, and sh share with us in the online campaigns of Defend Masafar Yatta, Save Masafar Yatta, Defend Racism, all the online campaigns which you can follow them, find them as well in our social media where all the time we are mentioning them in all our posts. As well, we are asking everyone as well to push in his place in the UK, to push to the politician in the UK, to make serious acts about the Masafar Yatta situation. We, we are happy to see protests in the front of the uh, UK parliament, uh, uh, you know, to, uh, for saving Masafar Yatta. We are happy to see, uh, you know, different several actions that can completely can, uh, you know, help the situation. Because as, as I tell you, يعني, Israel, at some point started to stop the, the, the press and the journalists who are coming to Masafir Yatta and asking them to, to confiscate the memory cards that of the, the footage that they are uh, taking about the life here and about what the army are doing. We don't want anyone even to see what they are doing, but everyone must, you know, Israel must see that everyone know, everyone see, everyone is acting for Masafir Yatta and will not make this thing happen. And hopefully that really the international community will find the pressure through you guys, through you guys, through the people in your country, in your places, you know, your, your country will move and will take serious action to hold Israel accountable because Israel for, 47, uh, for 74 years is violating the international law, is violating the international law and without facing any accountability. It's the time, it's the time now, you know, now, now the world is developing and it's easy to reach everyone, that's very good. And it's my time to mobilize everyone toward to hold Israel accountable and to stop the crime of Israel, of daily crimes against Palestinians, and especially right now in this crucial situation and hard situation Masafar Yatta is going through. Absolutely. And I think that's really important that we recognize that internationally we can stand up, we can get our governments to push them to take action, to make real changes, to intervene internationally. Um, and in the UK, um, PSC is campaigning particularly on putting pressure on the companies that supply those bulldozers to Israel. So the bulldozers that you see destroying the houses, destroying the farms in Masafiata, uh, a lot of them are JCB bulldozers, which is a company that we've been campaigning against for a while now. Um, and for those watching, if you're UK based, a way to show support for Sami and the movement to save Masafiyata is to join our protest, uh, which will be outside JCB's golf tournament on the uh, 29th of July, so next Friday. Um, and we're going to be protesting out at the JCB Golf and Country Club uh, to, um, to, to push them, really, to shame them and to draw attention to the fact that we're not blind to what they're doing. We know, we can see what they're doing, we can see what they're complicit in, and, um, and we won't stand by and let it happen. Um, anywhere, anywhere at all. Um, so yes, yeah, please. thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, I, yeah. Really, uh, in, like the protest in, in front of JCB is really important. JCB has participating in all the demolishing crimes that happened in Masaf Riyatta. This is يعني, something, shame on the JCB accepting their bulldozer to participate in this war crime happening here. And hopefully also they will take, you know, an action and they will take a position for this thing. And thank you guys for all your amazing work. And I'm asking everyone to join your protest and to be there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here um, today, Sammy. It's really, really special to have you. Um, really important to hear from you as well. Um, and to everyone here, if you if they want to keep up to date with what's going on, do you want to really say the um, accounts that they should be following? I mean, you're on the Youth of Samud account, so that's that's the first one. Um, but where can they find you on social media? What's the important things to follow? 
We have the Instagram, the social media, the youth of Sumud. We have the Twitter as well. We have the Facebook. You can follow us in the same spelling you just mentioned, uh, yeah, youth of Sumud. Uh, Sumud with S-U-M-U-D. Uh, uh, you can find us uh, there. Keep uh, stay tuned and, uh, you know, keep you will be updated of what's going on here. Brilliant. And then if you want to get in touch with PSC and find out what we're up to, um, make sure you're following us on this uh, platform on Instagram or on Twitter. Everybody, it's uh, PSC Updates on Twitter um, and uh, subscribe to our mailing list, which you can find via our website. Uh, just Google Palestine Solidarity Campaign and it should come up. But our mailing list is where you can find out first about new actions like the one against JCB. Um, but we'll also post information about those on Instagram and on uh, Twitter. So make sure you're following us on there. Um, and keep up to date with the latest uh, from the campaign. Um, but yeah, thank you again to Sammy. It's been really amazing to hear from you. Is there anything else you want to say to the people who, who've joined us? Thank you so much, everyone, for being in this live. Thank you, Stella. Thanks for PSC in the UK for all the amazing work you are doing. And, you know, please keep uh, going and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we, you know, we will, uh, you know, through all these amazing efforts and through this huge work you are doing, you know, the road to justice will be a shorter and closer, inshallah. Thank you so much and hopefully see you soon. Thank you so much and all solidarity. We'll see you very soon. Thank you. Thank you, Stella. <laughs>